host a free website with Google Cloud Hosting Full Tutorial 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing about Google Cloud and how you can use this absolutely amazing software or you know program that Google brings you to you know host a free website host a free web server and just run some good online web stores or blog or whatever you want okay so it's going to be really easy you're going to come to the website called cloud.google.com slash solutions slash web dash hosting and once you go there you're going to obviously go ahead and click on get started for free okay now once you click on get started for free basically what it's going to do is it's going to start loading you in and uh it's going to give you all the essentials for the website you know uh you have steps that you can go through so obviously you, you could go in and fill this in but before filling those out as we come down here you can see all these different things like wordpress on compute engine deploy wordpress a website you know a creation and publishing platform to google cloud with a range of hosting options and as you can see in these hosting options you have use cases like blogs simple websites best for low medium traffic and all that so obviously this is what we're going to be using and you know as you can see as it says it's best for blogs simple websites and that's exactly what we're going for so now that we've decided that's what we're going with we're going to go ahead to the trial and everything so as you can see over here access to all cloud platform products get everything you need to build and run your apps websites and services including firebase and the google maps api 300 dollars credit totally for free put google cloud to work with 300 dollars in credit to spend over the next 90 days so over here what you're going to do is first of all obviously you're going to go ahead and select your country once you've done that what best describes your organization okay you can choose any of these large company mid-size small company startup business idea reselling google cloud services i'm going to go with startup okay you could add your work email if you want to i'm going to leave that blank once you do that click on continue and once you click on continue and everything, basically it brings you to the identity verification and contact information section where they're going to send you a text message. Uh, so here you are, payment information and verification. Your payment information helps us reduce fraud and abuse. If you use a credit or debit card, you won't be charged unless you turn on automatic billing. So once you know all of this is done, just go ahead, enter all the things, and then just click on start free trial. Okay, now what happens when you, you know, go through all of this and actually click on start free trial basically what happens from there is you get straight into the web hosting section and let me give you an overview of what the cloud actually does so let's say i'm going to go over to the actual web google cloud and over here they're going to tell you all the different things you can do with the google cloud okay now basically once you're in the website obviously you can start totally free and uh, the totally free thing as i told you is a free trial like you're going to have to sign up with a free trial there's no like actual free free thing there's going to be free trial but trust me the free in the free trial they won't take any charges from you they won't cut anything from you so yeah you're going to be good in that uh, you know in that retrospect so moving on if i were to go back and discuss uh, more about uh, that in depth so once you're here basically over here what you're going to do is uh, you're going to have different aspects to choose from so as you can see make smarter decisions with leading data cloud for yourself okay and uh you just have uh more uh, more and more tons of uh things that uh, you can see for yourself again further on uh fuel data driven transformations with google's uh, data cloud that is unmatched in terms of speed scale and security all with ai built in break down silos across your operationals and all that and it's pretty simple so what you're going to do when you're like you know fully signed up with all of this basically there's going to be something called a vm instance okay now what is a vm instance okay let's discuss about a vm instance basically a vm instance is your virtual machine instance which is going to be provided through the google cloud.com interface and uh, they're going to provide that instance and what you're going to do is you're going to have to create an instance from scratch like totally created from scratch and basically why you need a vm instance because after you create a vm instance you're going to be given the privileges to actually make a domain or you know host an actual domain and all that so you're going to create an instance and once you create an instance obviously you're going to be naming the instance once the name is created uh you can also by the way let me just mention this as a side note you can create an instance uh using a template that's also pretty easy way to do so and the monthly estimate for your instances would be around you know 28 dollars or something like that so 
that's also a good thing and they're going to show you monthly instances which is also a good thing to have when it comes to your you know stuff and uh, if we were to go in products as you can see this is the compute engine this is what we're actually going to be working around compute engine is where you're going to have everything compute engine is actually what we're going to be using to start hosting so you're going to go in compute engine you know you have all these things secure and customizable compute service that lets you create and run virtual machines on google's infrastructure you know new customers get 300 dollars in free credit so you know pretty cool and you also have to choose the powered series that the Intel CPU platform uses as its predecessor. And then you choose the machine type. You know, you can, uh, as you can see over here, so the workloads can be C3, uh, E2, N2, N2D, N1, etc., etc., based on the machine. And uh, then you have ultra high memory ones, more demanding ones, all those. So you could choose from those as well. You have different machine types that you can use, different uh, display devices. You have confidential VM service. And, uh, you know, just a whole lot uh, smithering of others to discuss when it comes to your, you know, cloud hosting. And once you've done that, you're also going to make sure to boot your disk. OK, once you're booting your disk, you're going to get options for Debian, Rocky Linux, SQL servers and all that. So make sure to fix those out and also make sure to choose the right type of virtual machine. OK, it obviously solely depends on whatever type of hosting you actually want to do whatever type of workload your hosting is actually going to pick up and uh, according to that you're obviously going to want to have a proper uh, outlook to all the things that go on with your page so once you've done that choose your os choose the vm migration you know you can set these nodes or like if you think these node setting are a bit too much for you you can just choose a template and in the template they'll have all of this you know already set it out and stuff and then even after that i think yeah you're going to be pretty much good to go your server is going to be up and uh, you could you know also choose websites like GoDaddy and something like that and you can link GoDaddy with your Google Cloud Console so just so you could have you know a strong background framework structure okay and once all of that is done then you also have all these features like workload manager you have VM manager which is again your virtual machine manager you have batches batch is a fully managed batch service which allows for jobs to be scheduled queued auto skilled and executed on compute engine instances you have live migrations for proper VMs you have confidential VMs, sole tenant nodes, custom machine types, predefined machine types, spot VMs, instant groups, persistent disks, local SSDs, accelerators, and a smithering of other features. Okay, so there's tons and tons of stuff that goes on. And then finally, if you were to move towards the pricings, as you can see, the compute engine pricing, the compute engine pricing is based on per second usage of the machine types. Okay, so obviously you can go and check in the pricing calculator on how much you know it's actually going to charge you so it's the per second usage now let's say our usage per second is uh around you know two dollars or let's say yeah basically you're going to add stuff over here for the compute engine and according like add as many things and then you're going to do add to estimate and obviously it's going to give you a clear cut price and you're going to have an idea on how much money is actually going to be deducted from you when you're working with this but yeah that's basically about it so yeah, that's about it when it comes to discussing how you can host a totally free website on Google Cloud. So if you found that informational and helpful, please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, until then, I hope you all have a great and amazing day. That was all from me and I will be seeing all of you next time. Goodbye.